Hello and welcome to the first video of graph theory. This is the first video of graph theory where we will discuss basic terminology and types of graph. So hello, welcome to the Java G point. So let's start with graph definition. So uh, the graph definition says that graph can be defined as group of vertices, group of vertices and edges. When group of what is vertex? Vertex, if I show you a graph, fine, if I show you a graph, uh, suppose this is a graph. So what is it there in graph? There is a group of vertex. What is vertex? These circles. These circles are called vertex. So suppose this is A, this is B, and this is C, this is D, this is E, and this is F. So as per the definition that uh, a group of vertex and edges that are used to connect these vertices. No, a uh, group of vertex and uh, edges and edges are used for connecting this vertex. Fine. A graph can be seen as a cyclic tree. So what is cyclic tree? You have, a, you have always seen a tree something like this. Have you ever seen tree like this? No. So if there is a cycle in a tree, then th that is not a tree that becomes a graph. So a graph can be seen as a cyclic tree. It can be a cyclic tree where vertices, where vertices nodes maintain any complex relationship among them instead of having parent child relationship. In child, we have a relationship between edges and vertex only as a parent child relationship. But in graph, they have more complex relationship. It could be something like that. It could be something like that. There could be any any relation. Fine. Okay. Or uh, uh, next definition is something like that. A graph G can be defined as an ordered set. Very important line An ordered set G V comma E where V is vertex where VG represent the vertices and EG represents the set of edges. You can also say vertex as a node, fine, which are used to connect these vertices, fine, okay. So hope I have tried my level best to explain you what graph and graph definition is all about. And if you can see a graph GV with five vertex, this is undirected graph, means there is no direction. There are five edges and uh, there are five vertex and six edges which is shown in front of you. Fine. So this is a graph. Now let's move some graph terminology. First is path. What is path? A path P of length N. What is P of length N means suppose I'm taking a path 1, 2, 3 from 6 to 1. From 6 to 1. I'm considering a path from 6 to 1. So the length of path is what? 3. And how many edges, vertex are there? Edges are three. For path three, there are three edges. But how many vertex are there? Four. So how many vertex are there? Four. So similarly, the definition says a path P of length N can be defined as sequence of N plus one nodes or vertex that are followed in order, which are followed in order uh, to reach some terminal node V from initial node U. So this is a initial node and this is a terminal node. Fine. Okay. So this uh, path. Uh, this is the definition of path, fine, where u is v0 and v is vn, fine. What is close path? So what is close path? Close path. Now I'm making it close. See this. Now it has become a close path when the initial vertex and the final vertex become same. That is when u and v become same, equal, fine, then that become a close path. So a path will be called a close path if initial node is same as the terminal node. A path will be close path when V0 that is initial node and terminal node become same. Fine. Okay. What is simple path? And so simple path if all the node of a graph are distinct. So in, if I see this path, all the nodes in this path, if I consider this path, all the nodes in this path are distinct, are distinct just because of this. This is path also and this is simple path also because all the nodes in this vertex, all the no node in this path are, all the vertex in this path are distinct, are different. So this is a path and also a simple path. So what is this? This is also a path, simple and close path. So this is, uh, if all the nodes of a graph are distinct with that exception, that is first and last, initial and terminal can be equal. And then such a path P is called as closed simple path. Fine. If this is not closed, then simple path or it could be a path. Fine. What is cycle? What is cycle? Cycle is again a closed path. A cycle can be defined as a closed simple path which has no repeated edge. That is, there is no edge repetition or vertices except except the first and last vertex. First and last vertex can be repeated having three length of more. How can you make a cycle? Can you make a cycle with two length? Can you make a cycle with only two length? No, not possible. You need at least three length. So that is what it has given having length three or more. So if you see a cycle here, you have a cycle that that is existing between node five, one and two. Fine. So I have tried my level best to explain you this terminology. Let's discuss type of graph. Fine. Okay. 
then discuss type of graph so what is type of graph so here you have a i'll not read all those things now here you have uh, two type of graph one is undirected graph one is directed graph what is undirected graph when when there is no direction between in edges so if i want to say if i want to represent this graph so this graph uh, is there is an edge between a and b and also between b and a but if i see directed graph there is an edge between a and b but there is no edge between b and a fine there is no direct edge between b and a so you can go from a to b but you cannot cannot go from b to a so this is the main reason of direction so if you have a direction you can move only in the directed side but if you don't have a direction you can move both the side just because of this these are called unordered unordered pair unordered pair if you select any edge so i will represent this edge by square bracket ab this ab are unordered pair but if i select this edge i'll write it as ab in parenthesis and this will call ordered pair this will call ordered pair and this will call none or unordered pair fine so this is the, the undirected graph where there is no direction and this is directed graph where is a direction fine okay now see the connected graph what is connected graph when there is a connection between every node that is no node is isolated that is uh, if you see this figure this figure in this figure all the node are connected all the node are connected if you want to reach if you want to go from a node to node that say all, all the node are connected there is a there is a path between a node uh, there is no isolated node suppose i make a node this seven is this a connected graph now no this is not connected graph why because seven is a isolated node so there is no isolated node in connected graph fine if if a graph is a connected there is no isolated node fine so hope you have understood what is connected graph now comes complete graph what is complete graph when all the vertex all the vertex are adjacent to each other what is what is the meaning of adjacent just listen 6 is adjacent to 4 but 6 is not adjacent to 5 4 is adjacent to 5 and 1 is adjacent to 5 fine but 4 and 4 is adjacent to 3, but 4 is not adjacent to 2. 4 is adjacent to 5, 4 is adjacent to 3, 4 is adjacent to 6, but 4 is not adjacent to 1 because there is no direct connection between 4 and 1. So in complete graph, a complete graph is one in which every node is connected to all other nodes. Fine. There is a connection between every node. A complete graph contain very important thing to remember. Contain n and minus 1 by 2 edges where, where, where n is the number of nodes in the graph. If you see this figure. So how many nodes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then there should be how many edges? n that is number of vertex into n minus 1 4 by 2 then 2 there should be 10 edges so let's count the edges 1 2 3 4 5 fine 6 7 fine okay then 6 7 and then you have uh, 6 7 and then you have 8 6 7 8 then you have 9 and then you have 10 so there are 10 edges so it is perfectly fine and you can see every vertex is directly connected to every this is connected to this also this is connected to this also this one is connected to this also this one is connected to this also Th similarly this is connected to every every vertex fine just because of this this graph is called complete graph and always remember this formula this uh, how many edges are there in a complete graph for n vertex n into n minus 1 by 2 now you have weighted graph what is weighted graph when you assign a some positive value when when you assign a some positive value to edge then that become a weighted graph if you see this graph is a weighted graph where there is a value in every edge fine so you this value can be represented as cost uh, fine that is if you want to reach from 1 to 4 you have to spend 5 dollar uh, or if you want to uh, no, reach from 1 to 2 it can be 2 dollar so such kind of graph where every edge is assigned a positive weight then that graph is called weighted graph fine okay now comes types of graph uh, multi graph fine what is multi graph so before understanding multi graph let's understand multi edges and loops so what is multi edges let me give you an example suppose there are two vertex u and v fine and there is an edge from u to v and there is also an edge from uh, v to u fine v to uh, v to u okay v to u so uh, v to u and suppose uh, there is also an edge from u to uh, v to u or suppose there is one more edge something like that this means that their endpoints are equal some edges whose endpoints are equal then these type of 
edges are called multi edges distinct edges e and e dash are called multiple edges if they connect the same end points that is e equal to uv and e dash also equal to uv fine so then that type of edges are called what uh, uh, multiple edges or what are loops sub what is loop suppose there is a vertex u and there is a edge something like that which is originating from u and ending at u so the, this kind of edge is called what loop so an edge e is called loop if it has same identical point that is start from u and ending at u fine so a graph having above generalization a graph having above two properties are called multigraph if you see the figure you have a multigraph something like this fine so here you see here you see a and b both e and e dash e and e dash has same edge same as they both are having same endpoint a and b a and b while this edges are having different endpoint one is a e one is e a but these are having same now you see this is a multiple edge this is a loop so this is a multi multi graph fine this is a multi graph now now comes very important part degree of a node i have already explained you this in a tree what is degree of a tree number of node connected to uh, number of nodes connected in a tree no uh, binary tree so for binary tree degree has two why because binary tree you have maximum two nodes a, a, a node can have two children fine for uh, uh, nary tree or 3d tree there could be three child so degree is three fine okay now an, a degree of a node is now if i talk about a node vertex is the number of edges that are connected with that node a node with zero degree is called isolated node let's see the figure so if i say degree of this node how many uh, nodes are connected to six only one so degree will be one if i say what is the degree of four one two three degree is three if i say what is the degree of five one two three so degree of five is three if i say what is the degree of one degree is two because two nodes are connected to one fine so this is what degree is all about and what is the degree of isolated node suppose there is a not connected graph so degree of this isolated node will be zero because no node is connected to this fine okay now comes in degree out degree source and sink what is in what is out in when something is coming out when something is going so if something is coming and something is going we always consider a directed graph so consider this directed graph so written uh, what is in degree written as index u is the number of edges ending at u all those edges which are ending at u suppose i am having a edge u and i am having a vertex u and three edges are coming towards it fine with a direction like this so i'll say the in degree in degree of u will be what 3 fine and suppose two edges are originating from u that is it is leaving u what is out degree is the number of edges beginning at u fine so what is out degree out degree of u will be 2 fine so degree of u will be out degree of u will be to find okay so this is in degree and out degree fine okay so this is uh, let's see uh, the in degree uh, i'll represent in degree with i and i'll represent out degree with o i'll represent in degree with i i'll represent out degree with o i'll represent in degree i o i and o so what is the in degree of a two two edges are coming towards a what is the out degree of a one only one edge is going from beginning from a what is the in degree of i so in how many edges are coming toward i one uh, only one or this can also be included because this edge is also coming coming to this edge is also coming to and going also if there is a loop then in degree is one out degree is one so how many edges are coming two how many edges are leaving uh, one two three and one four out degree is 4 fine so out in degree of i is what 2 out degree is what 0 no edges are going from c fine in degree of this node in degree of this node is 1 uh, one only and out degree is 2 fine okay so i have explained you what is in degree and what is out degree then now what is source what is source so if i say what is source now see this figure see this figure so you have a edge u and you have a edge v fine suppose there are three edges which are coming toward which are coming toward u so what is in degree of u 3 uh, let me change the color of my pen now and suppose two vertex are leaving from v that is three vertex three three edges are coming towards u and no edges is leaving now if i say vertex v two 
edges are going beginning at v no edges are coming coming toward v so what is source and saying so what is source god is a source source have you ever given anything to god every time god has given you something you have never ever given anything to a god so just because of that god is source so this means uh, what is source a node is called source if it has positive out degree that the node which is always ready to give and zero in degree which is never ready to accept no so this node has in degree what three but out degree zero to so some some node which has positive in degree but no, uh, I'm so sorry. This will be a sink. Uh, this will be a source. This node has out in degree zero, but out degree two. So this no in degree zero, nothing is coming toward this edge. Of everything is going. So this edge will be called. This vertex will be called as source. I'm sorry. This vertex will be called as source. But what about this? Every thing it is only accepting. It is not giving anything. So in degree is. 3 out degree is 0 so this will be act as sink so have you ever washed uh, utensils in your home so whenever you have washed utensil in a sink then it always accept it never gives something fine so that is a sink fine so what is sink a node is sink if it has positive in degree and 0 out degree fine okay